Yo guys, today I got a bit of a crazy video. As you can see, I have a 1070 Seahawk X in front of me, which is a water-cooled um, GPU, and it's inside my external GPU mount. So, as you can see, I'm running an eGPU on my Asus laptop. So, this is a 2011 Asus N73. It's a multimedia, not a gaming version of a laptop, and I have an eGPU hooked up to it, so this cable is coming from the mini PCI going into the HDMI on the eGPU. The 1070 is inside there with a power plug that's 8 pin. This thing gets 220 watt of power from a Dell 2A power supply which is on the bottom. The radiator is here and I made a so, so, sort of connector that gets power from just a uh, the power you can see that but it's from a power plug nine volts just temporary so this thing runs and um, it's inside my Asus laptop so this thing is heaven have heavily modded so I'm gonna not get into detail with that but if we open it up you can see that we are indeed running a 1070 and an Intel HD 3000 and MSI afterburner confirms it the latest driver the 10 series GPU overclocked and again, it's there with my second generation i7 processor, which is very hot, but that's not an issue. It's not even running hard, but it's just the temperature is getting hot because it's running GTA 5 on my external screen. So this is using the HDMI port on my laptop and not on the back of the video card. That would get me better performance, but mine has some defect where I can't do that, it glitches out. So somebody has given me a recommendation what to do. I will try that, try that out later, but for now I'm running it from the HDMI port on my laptop, which gives me more latency and also loses me some FPS. But I'm not really bothered with that because what you're gonna see is pretty amazing on itself. So as I said, 1070, everything here. I'm gonna quickly go with you through my settings because most people say GTA max settings and it's absolutely not max so what I'm gonna show you now is first I'm gonna go to graphics and we have DirectX 11 1080 that's because my TV is 1080 I can't do 4k and it's not needed for me because I'm running this as an eGPU yes MSA on eight times I know nobody's gonna use this but this is max settings so this is what you get so eight times, this is all maxed, very high, very high, and everything that can be ultra is ultra. Again, maxed, very high, ultra sharp, ultra maxed out. Nobody should use this, this is stu stupid, looks bad, but I put it on just to max it out. 16 times, high, very high. These are absolutely maxed out settings. You can't go any higher than this. There's also some mods running, so that's also impacting the performance, but I'm not really bothered with that. So what you're gonna see is this. I run at 40 FPS and that is on a 2011 laptop with an external GPU. Yes, it's an expensive GPU, but this is pretty amazing. The CPU should bottleneck it. The fact that I'm running a 16 times port through an one line mini PCI running on a 2011 laptop. Yes, modified. Okay, but still the stock press processor in there. I have Corsair Vengeance. 1866 megahertz RAM, 12 gigs of it, and I'm running absolutely max settings on 40 FPS. So, okay, I can go another extra mile. I'm gonna do that because even with that, I'm pretty satisfied. So, these are the advanced graphics. And yes, they were off, so I have 40 FPS with that. And I'm gonna throw everything on right now too. I'm not gonna use frame scaling, that's for 4K and higher. I don't need that. As you can see, it's the eight gigabyte model and I'm using half of it now. So, I'm gonna apply these settings and as you're gonna see, yes, my FPS drops, but it stays above 30. It's about 30 to 35 and that's with absolute max settings on GTA 5. Absolute max. And that on a laptop. This laptop internal video card is a 540M and when I run GTA on the lowest settings possible, I get seven frames. Not even to mention about the Intel HD that's inside that gets barely two FPS. 
I had a 960 in there which gets 35 FPS, but that's with everything on high, some, st some stuff on very high, and every anti Elysian disabled. And this is with everything maxed out, 38 FPS, advanced settings and the regular settings absolutely maxed out. This is gorgeous. For a video card on a laptop, this is absolutely stunning. I would have never expect to, get, expect to get such a performance. I thought that my 960 was already bottlenecked to the max and that if I would put on a 1070, I would get no increase in performance whatsoever. I was so wrong. If I run the same settings on this card that I run with my 960, I double my FPS. I get to 60 or 70 FPS. And this guy is trying to kill me, so I'm gonna hop into this Ferrari and get the F out of here. So, this is crazy. This laptop can't run GTA 5 at all with a stock setup. And now I'm running absolute maxed out settings and I'm driving terribly, but you can see if I'm driving of course with the extended uh, frame distance scaling and stuff, it's gonna drop. That's because of the frame scaling and stuff, the advanced settings, that's really heavy. And my camera is not doing it justice. Of course the game looks much sharper and, sh and smoother. And I'm recording 60 FPS, so that should be good, but this is absolute mental. I'm gonna go to the, you can see, there's my temperatures on both. The video card is not sweating in temperature, but the usage is pretty high, 94%, but expectable, it's GTA 5. And, um, yes, the card is overclocked. I'm gonna do something else, right? I think I... So this is on the extreme preset, nothing has changed. loading up come on hurry up all right so the first one this is pretty low actually it's usually gets 50 solid 50 so I'm gonna let it go through this and the next scene is going to be much better. This is a pretty heavy scene. So as you can see, the next one is going up to high 60s, 70s. And again. And yes, in a regular PC, the same video card gets about 120 FPS. And that's why I'm so amazed that GTA 5 runs so high. Because if my friend runs his GTA 5 on the same settings I just ran, he does get like... 10 to 15 maybe 20 fps more so that's pretty amazing so this is still sick for an external gpu yes i get it it's still an expensive gpu but i'm gonna get a 1080 soon to test it out too and i'm gonna i'm gonna be surprised if this stats even go higher so that's that and as you can see the average if i benchmark this is around 55 FPS with a 75 maximum and my old GPU got a 32 and that's a 960 so as you can see 960 4 gigs gets like an 800 score and this one gets 1500 with 55 FPS maximum of 75 lowest of 20 right, my recording just dropped off but here we are back I was pretty much done with the video anyway so here you have my laptop set up with a 1070. And this is not my video card that I'm gonna keep, but it's pretty fun to test out. I was trying to do something else, but that didn't work, so I'm gonna try that again with the 1080, like I said before. But um, I'm pretty amazed how this works. If I can get a 1070 or something in the future for a pretty cheap, like I did with the 960, I'll get one, but I'm probably gonna upgrade my GPU anyway, but this is pretty dope. I'm not gonna get a water-cooled one, of course. That's totally overkill, especially outside. In, outside this enclosure, my 960, which has vents, which barely spin, always stays under 40 degrees because it's outside of the box, and this is pretty good, so. That was my 1070 review on an eGPU. This is also the cheap eGPU, not the Aikido, whatever you can get, which gets much more performance. Because I don't have a Thunderbolt port, so I run it like this. It works, it's dope. And I can play games that I don't even want to play 
I have 100% at GTA 5, but that's pretty much it. I don't usually play games. That's this is just more to fun and try out and build something and have like a good video card to run videos and stuff and render stuff. But <laughs> this is already much more capable than I need, but it's pretty dope. I tried to run uh, Breath of the Wild with the emulator on it, but it doesn't work for some reason. It does work, but I do only get 15 FPS, even though my friend can get with my O960, get like 30 FPS on 4K. I don't know what's that about. That's something else probably, maybe my RAM or whatever, but this is already dope. GTA 5 performance is amazing. And that was my video. Thanks for watching. Bye.